Side parts be making my head look like a straight up boulder boy. What the? <laughs> Hi, my baby loves. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just gonna be doing a little Shrax <laughs> video. Uh, I know I've been gone for a hot minute since I uh since I filmed but I took a little break I need a little break from social media need a little break from YouTube but either way this video is gonna be about sugar waxing I'm gonna show y'all how I make my sugar wax in the microwave um I don't know how y'all do it I don't know how them other youtubers do a child but I cannot for the life of me make sugar wax on the stove like either it's burnt or it's too hard I don't know I just can't do it it's not in my job description but anyway um I'm, yeah i'm just gonna show y'all how i make it in the microwave a little disclaimer y'all do need a microwave safe uh container because you don't want the glass or whatever type of thing that you're using to microwave it with to explode in your eyeball other than that i think you're good I don't think you need anything else um the description down below will list the items that I did use for this and I can also do like a little series for y'all um going more in depth about sugar waxing and maybe the benefits of it and I can post you know I will post another video about how I use my reusable strip not how I use them how I <laughs> how I make my reusable strips in this video but for now I'm just gonna show y'all how I make the wax yeah okay you guys so i'm about to show y'all how to make strip wax i'm gonna demonstrate later on how to use it in the video on my arm because i'm not gonna show you my legs and it ain't that kind of video for my other body parts so anyway you just start off with a half a cup of sugar you can do bigger increments uh measurements i mean but it's just easier to start off with like smaller measurements if you're microwaving it then i just use some lemon juice i use two tablespoons of lemon juice and two tablespoons of water which equal to a fourth of a cup so it's easier to just fill up half and half of each uh into a fourth of a cup then i just poured it in my sugar and stirred it up and then when you put it in the microwave it's 30 seconds and it doesn't really make a change but after a minute and 30 seconds it starts to get clear i would say to stop it in 30 second increments because like it can overflow and it can overspill in your microwave and it's just a hassle to clean up anyway it should be done in about like four minutes if not you can just put it on for 30 more seconds and watch it a trick i like to do before i know it's like really done is i like to put it in some cold water and just drop a little bit in there and it should be able like it should be pliable and it should mold into like a solid form before pouring it into its designated container i would put the container into hot water if it's not like microwave safe but this is how it should be looking when it cools down y'all and here's my hairy arm so this is the direction my hair is growing but we want to apply the wax the opposite direction of the hair growth which is down when the wax cools off it is hard so i do put it back in the microwave for around like 20 more seconds maybe 30 so it can be pliable and it can be like a honey consistency uh wax cannot be applied on damp or any type of wet surfaces or whatever like that y'all so what i do is i put some baby powder on it so it can you know dry everything out and like suck up the moisture or whatever's left on my arm and then i apply the wax y'all do not be like me <laughs> i suggest that you like test out how hot the wax is before you apply it on your skin before like you burn yourself because i did that multiple times just don't be impatient and just test it out on a small area before you just really just commit to it and apply it on your skin again i'm applying the wax the opposite direction of the hair growth and then when i put the wax strip on i will apply it and then i will rip it off the direction of the hair growth if that makes any sense if it doesn't then y'all can just watch it because i'm gonna do another example right after this one
I tried to do a little close up on the hair so y'all can see how much it took out. But if y'all want to see how I make reusable strips, then I will be doing another video next. But that's about it, y'all. Okay, y'all. So that's about it. Again, I can do another um, video about why am i struggling to say this <laughs> again i can do another video about uh the more in-depth you know how to sugar wax uh the types of sugar wax that you can be making and things of that nature um but that's all i can think of i will be posting more hair videos about how i pluck my closures how i make my wigs and more hair reviews but yeah i think that's about it i don't think i'm forgetting anything else so Thank you for watching and continue to like and subscribe. Thank you for helping my channel grow, y'all. And I love y'all. So, talk to y'all later. Bye.